Question 16. What is the purpose of GoTo statement? Answer. GoTo transfers control to the labeled statement. Question 17. Explain the syntax for for loop. Answer. The syntax of a for loop in Go programming language is minus for condition, init, condition, increment, range, statements. Here is the flow of control in a for loop minus if condition is available, then for loop executes as long as condition is true. If for clause that is init, condition, increment is present then the initial step is executed first and only once. This step allows you to declare and initialize any loop control variables. You are not required to put a statement here, as long as a semicolon appears. Next, the condition is evaluated. If it is true, the body of the loop is executed. If it is false, the body of the loop does not execute and flow of control jumps to the next statement just after the for loop. After the body of the for loop executes, the flow of control jumps back up to the increment statement. This statement allows you to update any loop control variables. This statement can be left blank as long as a semicolon appears after the condition. The condition is now evaluated again. If it is true, the loop executes and the process repeats itself, body of loop, then increment step, and then again condition. After the condition becomes false, the for loop terminates. If range is available, then for loop executes for each item in the range. Question 18. Explain the syntax to create a function in Go. Answer. The general form of a function definition in Go programming language is as follows minus a function definition in Go programming language consists of a function header and a function body. Here are all the parts of a function minus func starts the declaration of a function. Function name minus this is the actual name of the function. The function name and the parameter list together constitute the function signature. Parameters minus a parameter is like a placeholder. When a function is invoked, you pass a value to the parameter. This value is referred to as actual parameter or argument. The parameter list refers to the type, order, and number of the parameters of a function. Parameters are optional, that is, a function may contain no parameters. Return type minus a function may return a list of values. The return underscore types is the list of data types of the values the function returns. Some functions perform the desired operations without return a value. In this case, the return underscore type is the not required. Function body minus the function body contains a collection of statements that define what the function does. Question 19. In how many ways you can pass parameters to a method? Answer. While calling a function, there are two ways that arguments can be passed to a function, call by value. This method copies the actual value of an argument into the formal parameter of the function. In this case, changes made to the parameter inside the function have no effect on the argument. Call by reference. This method copies the address of an argument into the formal parameter. Inside the function, the address is used to access the actual argument used in the call. This means that changes made to the parameter affect the argument. Question 20. What is the default way of passing parameters to a function? Answer. By default, Go uses call by value to pass arguments. In general, this means that code within a function cannot alter the arguments used to call the function while calling max function used the same method. Question 21. What do you mean by function as value in Go? Answer. Go programming language provides flexibility to create functions on the fly and use them as values. We can set a variable with a function definition and use it as parameter to a function. Question 22. What are the function closures? Answer. Functions closure are anonymous functions and can be used in dynamic programming. Question 23. What are methods in Go? Answer. Go programming language supports special types of functions called methods. In method declaration syntax, a receiver is present to represent the container of the function. This receiver can be used to call function using operator. Question 24. What is default value of a local variable in Go? Answer. A local variable has default value as it corresponding zero value. Question 25. What is default value of a global variable in Go? Answer. A global variable has default value as it corresponding zero value. Question 26. What is L value and R value? Answer. The expression appearing on right side of the assignment operator is called as R value. R value is assigned to L value, which appears on left side of the assignment operator. The L value should designate to a variable not a constant. 
Question 27. What is the difference between actual and formal parameters? Answer. The parameters sent to the function at calling end are called as actual parameters while at the receiving of the function definition called as formal parameters. Question 28. Explain modular programming. Answer. Dividing the program into sub-programs, modules, function, to achieve the given task is modular approach. More generic functions definition gives the ability to reuse the functions, such as built-in library functions. Question 29. What is a token? Answer. A Go program consists of various tokens and a token is either a keyword, an identifier, a constant, a string literal, or a symbol. Question 30. What is a nil pointers in Go? Answer. Go compiler assign a nil value to a pointer variable in case you do not have exact address to be assigned. This is done at the time of variable declaration. A pointer that is assigned nil is called a nil pointer. The nil pointer is a constant with a value of zero defined in several standard libraries.